The Lumina Quest landed today and within this video I want to guide you through how to get this weapon and hopefully help you get it done much quicker than the normal time it would take really. So the quest for this weapon starts within the same location the fawn started. So load into the trust lands upon the EDZ and make your way to the salt mines. Basically head behind the church and follow the path I take on screen now if you don't know the way. Now before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, if you need help with Destiny, no matter the platform you play on, PC, Xbox or PS4, or just want to chat in general about the game, join my Discord which is linked within the video description. Okay, so you will eventually come to this chest, open it and the quest for the Lumina starts. At this stage you will obtain something called a system positioning device. This thing basically tells you where your chest will be. Mine as you can see was in shaft 13 within the EDZ. Now as far as I know there are multiple of these chests that are scattered all over individual maps. If you are lost here simply search Google for the location your states. I'm certain you will find it here. Now at this moment in time I don't know exactly how many chests there are so I can't bring you a guide on where each one will be found. So once you have found your chest open it and the next step starts in which you have to generate 250 orbs. This you would imagine will be pretty long winded. But there are a few certain spots I have which will make this very easy and very quick for you indeed. Firstly make sure you are using a fully masterworked weapon. My pick is the Sunshot. This thing goes to work creating orbs. Now the fastest spot in creating orbs doing little work is on Nessus where the enemy faces up against each other. Yes, this classic spot. Go here with the sunshot and wait for this to happen. You will get this done in absolutely no time. If you don't want to wait, head to Mars, spawn into the Protect Futurescape area, load up the Escalation Protocol, get to work on the first wave of enemies and then run into the core Terminus Lost Sector in the same area. If you have any exotic armor piece which gives you super energy back on hits, make sure you use that. Hunter, Orpheus, Riggs, Bob's your uncle, simple and you will get this done relatively quickly. So in doing that you are rewarded the rose hand cannon and this step requires you to restore its perks. To do this you have to complete a nightfall getting a score of 50k or above, this is simple people, using your nightfall score card, aim for roughly 1.5 to 1.7 times, I use void burn, airborne and extinguish, also using the strange terrain nightfall, it was relatively simple, so here you shouldn't have an issue. Next up you have to face the hordes by completing encounters either at the blind well, forges or the escalation protocol. Here I am hearing everyone saying tier 4 blind well is fastest. For doing this and everything beforehand you will get 7 points in total per completion. Me and my pals felt is an army forge was quicker though as you can do this forge super quick killing the boss in seconds and you get 4 points per run. Escalation protocol could be quicker than both of them if you do have loads of players in the area but that's never a guarantee. And the third step is to defend the light by defeating multiple enemies without reloading. To be honest while doing the other two parts of this step you should get this done. I used the crimson for the most part and got this done literally within minutes. So once you have done the three steps and restored the rose's perks, the next step is to complete activities. Wielding the rose while completing these activities gives you more progress. Here me and my teammates just loaded up the Lake of Shadow Strike on the EDZ. Doing this, which you can literally get through in about 5 minutes, even quicker, it gives you 12% a time, meaning you'll get this done in absolutely no time. The next step in my opinion is the hardest, it's the strength in number stage. Here you have to generate 50 orbs, that's easy and you can do this within the same locations I mentioned earlier. You then have to get final blows on guardians which I did in crucible, I believe it's 20 all together but teammates using hand cannons also give you percentage. I did this literally in one game but then you have to enter gambit and kill an invader before he kills any of your teammates. Here guys I suggest going into Gambit Prime as the enemy team evades way more than in standard Gambit. I was lucky enough to come across a team who were on this exact same part of this quest so we were just helping each other out. Strangely enough though sometimes killing an invader at this step doesn't always work. What I found was if you earn the medal not on my watch this step completes. As you will see on screen now I killed an invader this thing didn't proc. Then I did it and got this medal and then it worked. So I ain't sure what's going on here. I did these in reverse order to I stated though people, I just wanted to get that gambit part out of the way. 
So once you are done here, people, the next step is the final step of the quest, and this is to enter the world of a thousands with rules equipped and reclaim light by shooting crystals, which are all over this strike. And doing this in a fire team, every member has to shoot 11 crystals each if they are doing this quest. The crystals won't disappear for you though if you're destroyed by a teammate. And there are loads of these crystals within this strike, people. You literally can't miss them. And you can also only shoot them with the rolls. So once you have 11 crystals each, people, in your team, everybody's got them done, go on and kill Zo. In doing this, you are rewarded the Lumina Exotic Hand Cannon. Which, to be honest, guys, I'm actually really enjoying. The weapon feels great and snappy. I'm yet to use it in PvP, though, and test it out and see how it works. I may just bring you another video on this thing and seeing what it can do. So stay tuned for that. But yes, guys, this is how you get the Lumina Hang Cannon. I hope this guide helps you out in any slight way possible. If it allows you to do a step quicker, then my job is done. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, people. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.